Look at that. It's done. Our next eight color print using the Mosaic Palette 3 Pro on the i3 Mark III using some pretty incredible filament. Let's get into it right now. There you are. Welcome, man. I'll stand here because God, this, this thing's in the way. We'll get into it, I promise. So this is the Palette 3 Pro from Mosaic. It'll use eight filaments and can print using eight, eight colors, essentially, through the same nozzle. But the model that's on the Prusa i3 Mark III build plate is called the Torture Toaster. It was a collaboration between Clock Spring 3D and Hot Makes. So Hot Makes is the show on Edge of Tech where Nerdy J and Pooch talk about cool stuff. It's, it's, and, and people can submit awesome prints. If you see the hashtag Hot Makes on Twitter or other social media platforms, it means that they're going to try and show these cool prints and get people excited about printing on their show. They have cool guests. Well, well one of the guests was Sven, who is Clock Spring 3D, and he put together this torture toaster. Dun, dun, dun. This though is the first eight color torture toaster because it's the first one printed with the Palette 3 Pro. I haven't taken it off the build plate, haven't touched it. I wanted to do that with you together. So first we're going to dive in and talk about it on this print, which I did on another machine. This is the Clock Spring 3D and Hot Makes torture toaster. First order of business is when it prints, it prints with the sides down like this. So these are print in place joints. And if you can raise them up, then you're off to the races. You're off to the races. On each side, there is this gear, uh, print in place gear that allows you to lock the side into place. Uh, mine do not turn. So unfortunately I failed that part. Inside you have different angles of overhangs coming from each of the sides. You can see that's a little hairy right there and it's a little hairy right there. There's the numbers that tell you the overhang angle, and here's some shapes up above, and if your printer can reproduce those, it's doing a pretty good job. There's the gear on the other side. It does not turn. In here, we have clearance tests. So this one, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, those are the size in millimeters of the space between the wall and the little peg and the little peg. So if we go over here, it should be free to move. So how about here? Good. How about this one? Ooh. Oh, come on. There we go. This one. Oh, not so much. Okay. Okay. 0 0.3 was clear. 0 0.2 was not clear. I'll even try. Let's see if I, nope, that's not moving anywhere. All right. So I got down that far. Last but not least is the toast. Breakfast is done. <laughs> yeah, toast! Print in place uh, components allow you to pop the toast out of the toaster. It's kind of fun, and obviously you can pop it way out. The toast doesn't come out, uh, but you know it pops out pretty far. So on the bottom, you can see where all of these print in place pieces attach to the build plate. This was printed on an Ender 3 V2 using filament one PLA and I used the Prusa Slicer profile. Um, I don't think it was fully tuned in. I don't know, I got some work to do. I bet I could make it work. Uh, others have used the Creality printers and it's worked just fine. This one though, uh, not for me. So that brings us to the other one. Let's, let's go over there. This is the Torture Toaster, printed using the Palette 3 Pro, using Polyterra filament. Uh, you can tell it is eight different colors, and we'll explore it when we get off the build plate. That over there is the uh, transition tower. We'll have to talk about that at some point. I haven't touched the toaster. Uh, I haven't touched the transition tower, but I believe it should be, it is free. Okay, cool. We'll put it over here. Now this, let's see. I bet if I, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's see how torturous this toaster was for this machine. I would be remiss if we didn't talk about something, and it's the size of the transition tower. Look at the size of that thing. It is quite large, and you can see that it has some sections that are sparse and some sections that aren't as sparse. And that all depends on the number of 
colors or filaments you have per layer. That's what dictates how many times it has to transition. And in fact, Derek at Mosaic is the one that sliced this file for me. And he sent me the video of them slicing it. And so just like with the rainbow, he configured his palette heh, of colors and then dropped colors on certain parts of the model. And I thought what was really interesting is we get to see him move and resize this thing right here. So the transition tower size and position can be changed. That's really good to know. It is quite heavy. It's heavier than the model. I don't have a scale with me right now, but I wanted to at least show you. And again, it's in Polyterra from Polymaker, and we'll talk about that filament in just a moment. But now, to the toaster. Here it is, the Clock Spring 3D Hot Makes Torture Toaster. And uh, have a look at those colors. Have a look at those crazy, awesome, cool colors. So first of all, print in place, does it work? It does. How about on this side? It sure does. Let's fold this one back up. Do the gears turn? They do! Look at that! Oh, that's fantastic. What about the other side? Those turn as well. So the toaster locks itself. Does it toast? <laughs> it toasts. It certainly toasts. So the torture toaster itself, let's see, it had to do these different angles. And um, boy, looks a little hairy on the 80 degrees. But otherwise, it looks like it did an okay job of reproducing these and the different holes up top. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at the other side then. Lock this in place. Toast. <laughs> We've got 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Let's see what works. 0 0.5. 0 0.5 works. How about 0 0.4? Ugh. Okay, might have to. Okay, 0 0.4. There we go. Just a little stuck. 0 0.3. <sighs> Oops, did I? <laughs> I knocked it into the toaster. Definitely loose. Okay, 0 0.2. No, 0 0.2 is, uh, is, is pretty well in there. But hey, look at those. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the colors, though. I mean, the toast is blue. We've got green on the handle. We've got yellow on the body, blue, purple, and a peach over on this side. Black, gray, and a red on this side. Uh, print quality is a little bit suspect. And so if you take a look at the yellow, you can definitely see over extrusion. I mean, it's it's pretty apparent. And since Mosaic is the one that sliced this, uh, I didn't get a chance to tune anything, but they've never used this Polymaker Polyterra PLA before. This is actually the first time this material has been run through the Palette 3. How cool is that? It doesn't look as good as it can, Obviously, fine-tuning can make it look better. I like this, but more importantly, let's talk about this. There's a lot to take in right there. <laughs> let's talk about these and the material at work because there's some important things to say. So the material in the Palette 3 Pro right now and the material in these boxes is called Polymaker's Polyterra Filament. And it's really interesting. Nicholas over at Polymaker sent it my way specifically because he wanted to show off something, and rather than me trying to remember this, I'm going to tell you exactly what he said about it, because they did some tests, and the tests showed that this material is compostable, and straight from Nicholas, the compostability report. The conditions were a dark room, 58 degrees Celsius, plus or minus two degrees Celsius, and the vessel was compost with microorganisms. So good chance this wasn't your backyard garden compost. This was a more professional composting situation, and that's because if they're going to be testing it, they have to have conditions that they can replicate. It makes sense. The Polyterra PLA degrades 93.6% after 45 days. 45 days, 93.6%, it's degraded. It's estimated that 100% degradation happens in less than 100 days. So we're talking about three months. I have PLA prints in my garden. In fact, you remember the strawberry planter? That's still there. Through rain, snow, sun, 
ultraviolet light from the sun, dogs sniffing it and stamping all over it, like wild animals getting to it, dirt, grime, bugs, take your pick. It's still there, almost looking brand new. I mean, I'd have to wash off the dirt. But according to their tests, this polyterra filament, so this is, this is banana. Banana, banana, banana. Let's take a look at it. It's a cardboard box. It's a cardboard spool. The pencil of pointing is also a pencil of stabbing. How about a magic trick? So the cardboard box and the spool itself are recyclable. And then look at that color. It's a nice matte color. So what they're saying is this is compostable. In fact, under the right conditions, if I put this transition tower or this toaster in the ground after three months, it should have disappeared right? Now that's the company saying that and Polymaker is to be believed. I, I don't have any problems believing their test results, but you know, I like science. Maybe I should do this myself. And if you'd like to see a compostability report via my methods, whether it's a garden or a professional setup, let me know in the comments and I'll try to provide that. It's really good filament and they're not paying me to say that. They just sent it and said, can you try it please? And while printability on this requires some settings to be adjusted. That's all that's needed. The colors are fantastic. It's able to be composted and the spool in the box can be recycled. It seems to be a good deal at its price point and I'll try to work you a better price. If I can, I'll put a code and a link in the description. There we go. The Torture Toaster, a collaboration between Clock Spring 3D and Hot Makes, Nerdy J and Pooch himself. And uh, this is my take on it with the Palette 3 Pro. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. If you want to print it yourself, there'll be a link in the description and I'd love to see you print this. Obviously tag uh, hashtag hot makes. They're going to love to see that. But if you want to tag me as well, I'm at Joel Telling. And listen, go watch, uh, go watch Hot Makes on the Edge of Tech YouTube channel. I'll put a link down in the description as well. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Practice kindness aggressively. And as always... High five.